fewer fiends in my time. Oh, really? You need someone with magic skills. Let's see. One, we can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. I'm thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with a Guado for some time. Let's end this. Enough! No time to waste. Let's go! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! 
You come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone. Howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? Whichever Aeon you want. back. Show me what you've learned.
That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. This is the Moonflow. These are Moon Lilies. They say that clouds of Pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Whoa! 
What the? Whoa! This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we're ready, huh? I'll walk her at your service. I'll walk her at your service. Shoe puffs? I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. I lived in the city of Bevel until ten years ago. I moved to Besaid after my father defeated Sin. Kimari was with me the whole way. Bevel? It's the biggest city in Spira. The main temple of Yevon is there. Come on, let's get on the shoe puff. Come on, let's get on the shoe puff. Biran is troublemaker. But Ronzo, do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right, I'll be careful. <laughs> Smells like oil. <laughs> Smells like oil. Ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk, thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Even after ten years, Spira hasn't changed. Truly, the place seems to resist change. It would take something unusual. Don't let the peaceful scenery fool you. Be on guard at all times. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. 
Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. Perhaps you'd like to hear a bit about the Hypello, hmm? Hmm. The shoe puff handlers belong to a race of water dwellers known as the Hypello. They may be slow on land, but in the water they're quick as silvery fish. You'd think they'd make admirable players at Blitzball. But their lackadaisical disposition draws them to less strenuous pastimes. Hm. And that, as they say, is that. I believe I've said all there is to say. Driver, know when you're ready. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? The merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. The merchants here are wily. Let the driver know when you're ready. <laughs> 